hit. Uh. Hey, cuties. I got them back. You got them back. They're just hanging out while Mama gets her breakfast. They're so cute. So cute. What are they going to do? You guys want to go play? Could you say it any more dramatically? Why don't you just say, oh, excuse me, you made my hat fall off. They want to look. Well, you go nice and slow so they want to be petted, not scare them. <laughs> garden is looking pretty good for the most part as well as it can right now but we're at the beginning of the season and I have a challenge Rose has challenged me well it's not really a challenge it's just something that needs to get done this area right here is supposed to be a garden it does not look much like a garden right now because it is all covered with weeds. So I am gonna use the equipment that I have to the best abilities that I have to hopefully turn this section into a nice part of the garden. Well, it's been a while since this tractor's seen the light of day. Well, literally, because it's been the off season and I've had it parked inside of the barn. Um, also, I had to replace both of the front tires. Um, they had gotten flat. One of them was dry rotted and the other one had a huge gash in it. So I had no choice but to replace the tires. I went with some industrial tread tires that should hold up um, with the kind of stuff I like to do uh, running the, the mower to bush hog and all that kind of jazz. Um, the rear tires are still turf tires and they're old, probably about as old as the tractor. The tractor's from the mid 80s and um, they're good for not tearing up the ground but sometimes you need some extra tread uh, and traction which that's going to be the challenge every time I've had to do something in the garden um, I usually end up spinning out so it's been dry for a few days or maybe more than that hopefully I don't have that issue but I'm going to do the best that I can first step is going to be cutting down all this vegetation and that should not be a problem at all I'm just gonna use my brush cutter and I don't care how low to the ground it is if it leaves marks that's fine by me I'm not trying to uh, maintain a, a baseball field 
or football field kind of grass here. I'm trying to cut this vegetation as short as I can. And I'm gonna use the tractor to do it. That was the easy part. Now, that's all cut and as short as I could possibly get it. Now I need to figure out how I'm gonna break this ground apart to make nice garden beds without getting my tractor stuck. Meet my family of implements that I have at my disposal. There is the disc harrow. Here is a bottom plow. Uh, sometimes people call it a, a tater plow. Um, I think agriculturally speaking, people use that kind of plow to literally pull potatoes out of the ground, but it's just something good to break up the ground, I've found. And then I have this blade attachment. In a perfect world, I would have a rototiller implement attachment to have on my tractor and my tractor would have industrial or ag agricultural grade rear tires um, but I don't have those things right now uh, I have them <laughs> on my Amazon list but I just I can't afford new tires at the moment for the rear so we're gonna do the best that we can in a next to perfect world I would use the disc harrow but again, those tires come into play. Uh, last time I used the disc harrow, this thing is heavy. It works better on a much bigger tractor. It works much better when you have the right tires and when you have four wheel drive. So I, I don't think I'm gonna try that one today.
As you can see, I have become stuck. I got stuck. I didn't make it far at all before I was stuck. Um, turf tires are not good for anything else besides turf. I thought that um, maybe I would be able to get away with it today because I have got away with it in the past, but I got stuck uh, bad enough to where I'm gonna have to call today, y'all. Yeah, um, because I'm gonna need a truck to pull it out, and my truck does not have a towing capability. So rather than risk ripping my bumper off trying to pull the tractor out, I'm just gonna call it a day. I'm gonna come back tomorrow, um, possibly borrow my vehicle from work, which is a four-wheel drive, heavy-duty pickup truck, and we're gonna pull it out. Then I need to come up with a plan B of how I'm gonna get this garden done. Um, yeah, I really <laughs> need to upgrade these tires. But anyway, that'll be a challenge for a different day. All I can do is learn from my experiences and hope that you guys can learn from them too. Um, it's beautiful weather out here. We're finally past the dog days of rainy, gross, wet winter. And we are in spring. Everything is green, and I can be happy about that. I can be happy about wearing shorts again. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. I'm going to go eat dinner. Well, I sure did dig myself in deep here. As you can see, compared to the rest of the ground, <laughs> Yeah. Very deep. I was very stuck. And it only took, well, it only took like a couple seconds to get unstuck. I didn't film it. Um, I was in my work truck. I just drove right down here and pulled it out. Rose wasn't in the garden room. Um, but yeah, I just, I just needed to get it out and get it out fast. And that I did because you see what's looming in the distance behind me. There is a big thunderstorm headed this way. So I need to be fast. I wanna get my tractor back into the barn and get the animals put away. Um, and then I'll have to figure out a plan B for the garden. Um, I would borrow my work tractor with the proper tires and four-wheel drive and bucket loader but it is in the shop which is why I didn't do that to begin with and have we all learned I'll say it again turf tires are not good for these sorts of activities and probably would help if I had four-wheel drive too but proper tires I don't think I would have gotten stuck to begin with so um, I guess I'll have to borrow a rototiller or something. I'm not doing it by hand. She'll try to make me do it by hand, but I won't do it by hand. <laughs> I'll say thank you for watching. You know the drill. And we'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots.